Tonight, Minnesota is stepping up the fight against impaired driving. When lawmakers legalized recreational marijuana this year, they included millions of dollars for specialized training to help police identify drivers high on drugs. Six o'clock tonight, investigative reporter Eric Rasmussen told us about the challenges proving marijuana DWIs. He's back tonight with the case for and against the use of drug recognition evaluators. Right, Kevin, you, Lindsay, you may have heard them called DREs or even drug recognition experts, but we found the weight of that expertise is still up for debate in states where marijuana has been legal for years, as well as right here in Minnesota. Pulled over for no headlights. So we'll tell you agenda tonight. It wasn't long before this Owatonna police officer asked the question that changed the focus of this traffic stop last year. Is there any marijuana in the vehicle? Okay, when's the last time there was any marijuana in the vehicle? It was enough to prompt a roadside field sobriety test. So, okay. you got me nervous. It's, it's, all, it's all good, man. You know, we run people through these all the time. Oh my God. When five investigates obtained this body camera footage, police had already modified the audio and video. It reveals the driver blew zeros on a breath test for alcohol. Put your hands around your back for me. But they arrested him anyway and charged him with DWI. It's not an easy thing to prove. And now that marijuana is legal in Minnesota, driving high is a DWI. The state is stepping up enforcement. When lawmakers legalized the recreational use of marijuana, they included millions of dollars to train and certify more officers as drug recognition evaluators. It's just someone who's highly skilled beyond the average trooper, cop, or deputy to recognize not only impairment, but what type of drug or drugs someone might be using. Head of State Patrol Colonel Matt Langer says Minnesota is following the lead of others around the country. I'll clear the office of in-service. A roadmap five investigates followed to Colorado, now approaching 10 years of legalization. Is it uncommon for you to pull over somebody who appears to be uh, under the influence of marijuana? It's not, it's almost as prevalent as alcohol. We joined Sergeant Jason Sparks just outside of Denver. He's been a drug recognition expert for more than a decade. We check pupil size, we check blood pressure, we check pulse. How often are you uh, relying on those skills? I've been a drug recognition expert since 2011 and I have 83 evaluations since then. Any words of advice for your uh, brothers and sisters in law enforcement out in Minnesota? It's going to be a culture shock. It really is. We want the thought of driving to be unthinkable. Glenn Davis, highway safety manager at the Colorado Department of Transportation, says they want to add more DREs. If we have 120, we could support 250. We found they're also a point of contention. If a DRE walks in as a witness in that case, right. is your case more difficult for you? No. No. With defense attorneys in Colorado and Minnesota. This is um, a pseudoscience cloaked in medical and scientific technology. Roseville attorney Chuck Ramsey says he's challenged DREs before. In a Minnesota court, uh, they are not allowed to be called drug recognition experts. The term drug recognition evaluator is permitted, but not expert. There's no consensus in the scientific community that it's valid then why invest all this public money, have this new law and this be such a centerpiece of it? Because they feel like they have to do something. A recent study highlights how difficult it can be to figure out who's really high. Researchers at the University of California, San Diego, had more than 100 marijuana users smoke the real thing, while another group did not ingest any THC. Yet the study found highly trained officers still thought half of the sober group was under the influence. That's after putting them through field sobriety tests, prompting researchers to conclude they may be insufficient to determine impairment. Do you have concern that this could ensnare people who aren't impaired at all? I don't have that concern. I think it is our job to be as diligent as we can in identifying who might be impaired. So the DRE program helps us validate what that original peace officer might have seen. Police got a warrant to draw blood from that driver arrested in Owatonna. Yeah. But we're not identifying him because he was never convicted. Lab results revealed he had an inactive metabolite of THC in his system, but the part of marijuana that actually makes you high, not detected. That 
isn't consistent with him having smoked close to the driving time. More than seven months after his arrest, the driver's attorney says that blood test forced prosecutors to drop the charges. I knew, looking at that, that you know this demonstrates that he smoked marijuana sometime in the past three weeks. It doesn't demonstrate that he's under the influence of marijuana. Late yesterday, Owatonna Police Chief Jeff Mundale told me he supports his officer's decision to make that arrest and said he had probable cause to do so. But the experts we've spoken with say it's just one more reason to keep looking for answers. Right now, Minnesota has a pilot program to detect THC in saliva, but she mentioned drivers don't have to take it and it can't be used in court. Hmm. So recreational wow. marijuana has been legal for a few months now in Minnesota. What are police telling you they're seeing? I asked Colonel Langer about that, and, you know, he told me uh, his troopers are seeing more obvious violations of the open container law. If you think about it, marijuana might be legal now, but just like alcohol, you can't use it while driving, and you can't have it within reach when it's in your car. But the bottom line is we want everyone to be safe on the roads, proving it's a whole other thing. And that's what they're working on. Yeah. Are these cases just going to get dropped? This is going to be fascinating to watch. It will. It's going to play Here. out a while. Thanks. Thank you.